let you work it out in your own sweet time, but Ricky, you can walk. What'd you just say? He's telling you the truth, man. It's all in your head. <laughs> you sit, sons of bitches. I mean, you walk in that door. Have you ever been declined for a credit card due to pork? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought someone had told you. He's fine. He found that wheelchair in the hallway. Well, his paralysis is entirely psychosomatic. But we all need to go along with this because he's an adult. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought someone had told you. He's fine. He found that wheelchair in the hallway. Give me the well, his paralysis is entirely psychosomatic. But we all need to go along with this because he's in a delicate state. So when you say psychosomatic, you mean like... He could start a fire with his thoughts. No, not at all. It means it's all in his mind. I'm just saying, sometimes you get a knock on the head. You get right. special powers. It happens all the time. Read a comic book, okay? <laughs> Seven behaviors that are actually contagious according to science. Yawns aren't the only things you can catch from people around you. Behavioral contagion is a well-documented phenomenon in psychology. Our brains are hardwired for social interaction and bonding. Mimicking the actions we see in those around us is a natural way that we empathize and gain a sense of how others are feeling. Here's a sampling of some of the behaviors that we may catch from our friends and co-workers. Risk taken. I'm not going to read this. I'm just going to skim through. Yawning. People are acting like, uh, yeah, this psychosomatic shit. Yeah, there's no reason. <laughs> there's no reason for all of this. No reason at all. Laughter is contagious. Smiling is contagious. It's something s frowning. Okay, let me get to this list first. Workplace rudeness, I can see that, but that's not really getting me. Shivering. Just looking at a person who's cold can be enough to make you feel chilly too, according to research. A study from um, neuropsychiatrists at Britain and Sus um, Medical School, temperature contagion. The study suggests that when participants watch a video of a person's hand being plunged in freezing water, the temperature of their hands drop too. The more empathetic the precipitants are, uh, related themselves to be, the greater the temperature drop they experience. Okay, feeling warm, unfortunately, does not have the same effect. See, that's how strong this is. And, and where I'm going to this is uh, I'm seeing that there's a whole lot of clusters. Of course, there's clusters because people are more connected than what we want to admit that we are. Black, white, uh, whatever, man, woman, we are all connected to each other a whole lot closer than we would like to admit. And once y'all realize and break out of this shell of this psychosomatic behavior, y'all will see that all of this Sickness shit going around is bullshit. It is bullshit. If people are getting sick in January, yesterday I watched the news and it said that the spike went up from December to January. That's because we had an abnormal warm December. We had an abnormal warm December. Now it's finally getting cold. Okay? And with my research that shows my in my video and files of shit you can't unsee, I literally showed you how they're making tornadoes and shit. Literally, this is all a mind game. Just like when, um, um, goodness, what is his name? Dick Gregory. When Dick Gregory was in that interview, it's all a game. It's all a game. It's all a game. I can I can't even tell you how many times he said that. It's all a game. It's literally all a game to see what is going to happen next. Wh what people are going to flock to next. Okay, and just like this whole.